Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to be making a fun window card using some new products from Art Impressions. So this is the stamp set here. These are clear stamps and you get the three stamps. And these are by Bonnie Krebs and this is called the Tropical Circlet. So these three stamps will line up one on top of another. We're going to be doing our stamping on the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I've gone ahead and placed some in my Misty Stamp Positioner, and I'm going to ink these up using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp these a couple of times just to make sure I get a nice clear stamping. Now that I've got those stamped, I want to go ahead and die cut these. So you get two coordinating dies with this stamp set as well. And these dies are going to cut out the opening here so that we can see through these images. So I'm going to line these up, tape them down with a little bit of purple tape, and run these through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. So now you'll see when I pop these out, you have a nice opening that goes all the way through. And there's quite a bit of detail here. It even cuts underneath that umbrella. So now what I want to do is grab my We Are Memory Keepers nesting circle dies, and I want to take the one that's going to go just right around those words there. So I'm just going to look through my circle dies until I find the one that matches up perfectly with those words and then I'm going to go ahead and tape that down with a little bit of purple tape and I ran each of those through the exact same way. So now you can see that these are going to sit one on top of the next. But I do want that sentiment on that last one, the one with the sun on it, I want that sentiment on the, the panel that has the leaves. The way we're going to do that is we're going to do a little bit of masking here. So I'm going to go ahead and position the leaves right underneath that image with the sun on it. And I just want to make sure it's nice and centered. So take a second or two here just to make sure you line it up properly. And now what I'm going to do is mask off that area where the sun is. So I'm using the Gina K Masking Magic. And I'm just going to grab a piece of that here. And then I'm, I want a circle that's going to fit right inside there. So I want the circle die that's going to fit right up along those lines. Because that's the part we're going to be masking off here. So you can see it again here. It's going to just mask off the sun and the water there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this. And I'm going to be running this through my little Sizzix Sidekick machine. Now that I have that die cut, I'm just going to peel the backing off that. And the sticky side, you can see one side is sticky and one side is not. And with the sticky side, I'm going to place that right over that image of the leaves. So that's going to cover that area while we do our stamping. So now I can go ahead and ink up my stamp. I can ink the whole thing because we have that mask down below there. So I'm going to stamp that a couple of times just to make sure I have a nice crisp image. So now that I have that stamped, I'm going to go ahead and take that mask away. And I'm just using my pick tool just to lift that up and remove that. And I'm going to place that back on that masking paper and save that. I can put that with my stamps and save that for another uh, stamping. So now you can see that I have that sentiment all the way around. And now we can start to do some coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the sun here. And I'm using bright yellow and yellow. And these are my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And again, I'm using the blender pen to, to do my blending. And these are water-based water markers, so they're going to blend very easily. And you do want to clean off that blender pen in between colors. Or if you get too much color on the pen, just, 
Just scribble it on a scrap piece of paper until it goes clear. Now with cobalt blue and light blue, I'm going to go ahead and do the water. Now not a lot of this image is going to show. So we can test that here in a second. But for right now, I'm just going to blend these colors out. And there you can see that we're not going to see a lot of the image. And especially when I put the leaves on top, you'll see very little of this. But I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And this image alone, I think, would just make a beautiful card. Even if you didn't stack the others on top, I just think this is so pretty right here. So you can use the pieces here. Any of those three circles would be really pretty on their own. So now you can see once the leaves are on there, I don't need a lot of coloring here. So I just want to create that reflection of the sun on the water. And then with the turquoise green, I'm going to add a little bit of color to the sky there. So now that looks pretty good. So now to do the leaves, I'm using May Green and Green. And I'm going to do all of this type of leaf the exact same way. So for all of these, I'll start with my lighter color, add my darker color, and then just kind of pull that color out to the sides a little bit. Just keeping the tips of the leaves the lightest. So I did all of those leaves that were the same. And then with olive green and mid green, I'm going to go ahead and do this next type of leaf. And then I'm adding a little bit of yellow to this one just on the tips, just to bring in a little bit of that yellow color from the sun in the background. So with deep green and emerald green, I'm going to go ahead and do this next type of leaf. So just kind of mix up your green colors here. And for this one, I'm using deep green and a little bit of orange. I just wanted to, again, bring in some of that yellow and orange from the, the sunrise in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and blend those out. And then I will bring in a little bit more of that yellow here as well. So again, just keeping the tips of the leaves the lightest. So I finished coloring all those in. Now for the umbrella, I'm using purple and pink. And then we're going to be using dark oatmeal and oatmeal to do the sand. And I'm adding a little bit of shadow behind these chairs with that. But in the end, I really didn't need to do that because it didn't actually show. So you can skip that part. You can just, just add a little bit of the lighter color for the sand and maybe a few specks of the darker color. But you can see there that it's not really going to show. Now I'm going to use the gray brown and I'm going to add that to the, the Adirondack chairs just to add a little shadow here. And do remember to clean off your pen in between colors or if you want to remove color.
So now again, I can stack these up and that looks pretty good there. So we've got everything colored in. Now I wanted to add a few highlights. So I'm gonna take my Jelly Roll white gel pen and just add a few highlights here and there to the umbrella and then to some of those leaves. And I did that for all of these little leaves here. Now using my Nuvo Glitter Gloss Pen, and this will just give a nice glittery finish. It's clear and it'll leave a little sparkle. We're gonna put some on the sun and some on that reflection as well. So now there you can see we have all three of these little panels all set. So I'm going to grab the Deris Adhesive Foam Strips. These are the 1 8 inch foam strips. And these are really pliable. So these are going to go right around these circles perfectly. So what I'm going to do is start going around. It's easier if you do remove that backing completely. And then I'm going to go all the way around this circle. And you can see how easily I can kind of get those in place. So I'm going to do the same thing here and finish off going around the circle here. And then I'm just gonna cut away any excess. Now, if you were going to make a shaker card, this would also be a great tape to use for that as well, because you could add some acetate here in between the layers if you did wanna make a shaker card. So now what I'm gonna do is layer that second one on. I'm just lining it up. And now I'm gonna add some more of that foam tape to this next circle. Again, going all the way around. And what's nice also about this tape is when we see this from the side, once we're done stacking all these, you'll see how nice and neat it looks. Now I'm gonna again cut away that excess and then I'm gonna stack that third one right on top. And I do want that flower on that one to be down at the bottom there. So now you can see we made this nice little sandwich. And again, just take your time lining these up. Don't press it in place until you're sure you have it where you want it. And now you can see this could also make a really cute little ornament. We could put some ribbon on here. So this just by itself I think is adorable. So now I'm gonna uh, create a square card. So I'm cutting this at four and a half by nine inches. This is just a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard to do this. And then I'm scoring it at four and a half. I'm just pressing down the crease on that. And now we are gonna be cutting a circle out of the center of that panel on the front of the card. So I'm gonna create a second panel here. This is gonna measure four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that's gonna sit right inside our card. Now for the circle that we wanna create, I took the circle die that is three inches by three inches. It's a three inch circle. And I'm gonna center that on the front of my card. Now, when I run the card through, I like to put a piece of scrap paper on top because this is our card and I wanna protect it a little bit. So I just put a piece of scrap paper on there. And now that panel that goes on the inside, we wanna cut that same circle out of that panel as well. So I'm gonna temporarily tape this in place with some purple tape. And then I'm gonna take that circle die again, and it will just kind of lock right into place there. So just move it around till it locks right into place. I'm gonna put some more purple tape on that. And again, put my protective uh, scrap paper on top and run that through a couple of times just to make sure it cuts all the way through. And now you can see that we have those two circles cut through both of these pieces. Now for my acetate, I'm gonna be using the Cuddlebug acetate. This is the embossable acetate. And again, I will give you the information for all of these products down below, and they're also listed on my blog as well. So I'm just using my scissors to cut that acetate down to size. And now with my score tape, this is the one quarter inch score tape. 
I'm going to go ahead and just place a little bit of tape on the sides of this circle for now. And then I'm going to remove the backing on that tape and center that acetate on this panel. Now I can go ahead and add the tape all the way around all four sides of this circle and then a little bit around the circle as well. Again, I've removed all the backing and I'm going to line these two panels up. So I'm centering those circles and then I'm just going to press that crease down with my bone folder. Now with that same circle that we cre used to create that opening, I'm going to die cut a piece of cardstock. This is the Hero Hues sampler pack and you get all these beautiful shades of colors. I'm going to grab that hot pink color. And then again, I'm going to go ahead and die cut this circle as well. This is going to go on the inside of our card. So it's going to line up right inside that circle that we already created. So I'm just going to place it right in there. And then I'm going to add some tape to the back of this. And I'm going to remove the backing on that. And when I close the card, it will pick up that circle and it'll be lined up perfectly for the inside of our card. And then you can see that's lined up exactly with that circle. So now I want to place this one that we created, this little stack right on top. But I do want to create a circle that, that is the exact same size of that for the inside of my card. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that down with a little bit of purple tape. I've run that through my machine. Now I'm going to tape this three-dimensional piece right on the front of my acetate. I'm removing the backing from the tape and I'm going to center this on the circle. And then this second white circle that we cut it's just going to cover that tape on the inside of the card. So I'm going to put tape on the back of this as well. And then I'm just going to cover that, just centering those two circles. So when you open the card, it will look pretty on the inside as well. So now I've got a my black, this is just a detail tip black pen. And I'm just going to create some stitching all the way around. You could use a ruler to do this, but I do like to do it freehand. I kind of like the random look that you get. And then I'm adding a few little hash marks on all four sides here. Now with the Barefoot Beach Sparklets from uh, Buttons Galore and More, you get these beautiful little uh, gems. I'm going to use my Marvy Jewel Picker to pick these up, and I'm going to place a few of these on the front of my card. And then to glue these down, I'm going to be using my multi-medium matte glue, and this glue will dry crystal clear. So now I want to create another circle, so I'm just using that leftover circle that we had from before. And I've die cut an even smaller one, and you can decide here what size circle that you want. But I want to create a little panel on the inside of the card for my sentiment. And I'm going to go ahead and do that faux stitching all the way around this circle as well, adding those little hash marks. And I don't know what the sentiment is going to be yet. So I'm going to just attach that to the inside of my card. And when I decide, I can add my sentiment later on. So now with these HAI supply. Uh, little gems. These are the colorful blossoms and these are these beautiful little uh, Fimo flowers. I'm going to grab that hot pink one and I'm going to cover that little flower that's included in that sentiment. I'm going to color in those little leaves first and then I'm going to go back to my Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue, add a little dot of that there and attach this flower here. And that's just going to give it a little more dimension and interest here. 
and you can see up close how pretty these little flowers are. So now we've got our completed card, and you can see all the dimension we have here with all these little embellishments. And I just love the way you can look into that scene. I just think it's so beautiful. Now these stamps are designed primarily to do a tri-fold card, which I started to do, and then I had this idea to create this little three-dimensional embellishment for the front of my card. So either way makes a great card. And that, again, is for my sentiment, which I will decide later on what I want to put in there. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you again so much for visiting, and have a great day. Bye-bye.